Hey, my friends, this is Bill McDonald, the writing doctor from May the Force Be With You, The Right Prescription. God bless you and yours today. Welcome to the intro for my video lesson on traffic light sentences using names of businesses. Before I go over it, though, I want to take a moment to thank all of you, several of you, in fact, who took the time to respond to my post on Facebook to go around your cities and your towns looking for signs that had names of businesses, stores, and restaurants with apostrophe S or S apostrophe in them, showing ownership. Because I wanted to practice an activity using the colors of a traffic light, green to start the sentence, yellow to pause with certain punctuations that slow it down, and green to stop, the red to stop the sentence at the end at a stop sign. Think of this, every sentence is like a street, but the sentence has to have a capital at the beginning, some sort of a subject somewhere, a predicate, and a stop sign. And we're gonna use the three colors to teach that concept uh, reflective of a traffic light. Now, I want to remind those of you that did send me your pictures on Facebook, uh, I want you to take a chance to email me when you get a chance. Let me know which picture you sent and I will send you this video lesson for free uh, along with the PDF attachment that goes with it that's going to be modeled digitally and with my document camera. So at any time, if you have any questions, if you I uh, need some guidance or help. Uh, I'm always gonna have that contact information above my shoulder so you can connect with me whatever way that you need to, uh, about videos that you'd like to see, about trainings, about materials, or about question about something on Teachers Pay Teachers. Go ahead and go with me if you purchased it already to the title page so that we can introduce just briefly uh, a couple of activities that go with this video. Traffic light sentences using names of businesses. Directions, you should always read the directions. And I'm gonna emphasize the importance of that, especially at the beginning of the year, because the kids have been away from you for March, April, May, and now they're gonna be gone all of June and July. And so you might be seeing this video uh, at the beginning of August or September or perhaps later in the year, but keep in mind that you probably had to spend a lot of time getting your kids back in a routine of learning how to follow directions that were written or verbal or visual. So I got my little bouncy ball here to follow along with a little help from Zoom. Directions, read the question or comment for each sign on the following pages. Write the answer or response in a complete sentence. We said the sentence is a street that has a subject, a predicate, and a woe sign, a stop sign. Be sure to use the name of the business in different places in your sentence, and I'll mention why that's important in a moment. Use green crayon, crayons or pencils to circle the first word of your sentence. We'll call that go. Run. Circle any commas, contractions, or apostrophes, and for upper grades, even quotation marks, semicolons, and colons are gonna be circled yellow, and we're gonna use this man called slow. Circle your ending punctuations in red. His name is gonna be whoa. So I'm even using automatic PS sounds to represent each color. Uh, the Cran colors represent certain things. So all of that is gonna help your kids make a visual, verbal, kinesthetic connection to capitalization and punctuation. 
only capitalize the first letter of the name of each business and underline the capitals three times. This part right here is because many businesses, in order to get the attention of people that are passing by, they'll tend to capitalize all of the words. And we wanna make sure that when your kids write it down on paper, they're only capitalizing the first letter of each of those proper nouns and then businesses, the stores and the restaurants. And underline the capitals three times, that's just an editing thing. I often say in my trainings, underline, underline capitals, proper nouns and titles. That's not the reason that it has three little lines underneath it, but it makes your kids pay attention by kinesthetically doing something with their pencil every time they see a capital. Try your best to start each sentence with different words. Now, let me explain why that's important. I have an activity that I call around the words in 80 ways. The reason I came up with it, I was noticing as I was reading essays that a lot of kids like to start sentences with their own little go-to words. Here's a couple of examples. I, 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 I like to start with I all the time. Or so, so, suck my toe all the way to Mexico. Another one, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then. So if we start with different parts of speech, the sentence will have the same content. It will just be in a different order, a different structure. We're not changing the content. We're just changing the order so that we don't have so much repetition of certain parts of speech. The first five are done for you. Now, go. I'm only gonna do a couple, let you see a few. As you can see right here above, the directions are there in blue and it pretty much says the same things that we read on the title page. The first sign that we're gonna look at is called Sam's Club. That's what your kids see. But unless you say something or do something, you won't be paying attention to capitalization, proper capitalization, and punctuation when it's done correctly. So watch me in the corner of the video as I say that out loud and do some kinesthetic thing. Capital Sam, apostrophe S, capital club. As you see there, the whole word club is capitalized, but in the real grammar rules, we'd only capitalize the C. So each one is going to have a question like we mentioned. So let's use our little spotlight to fo follow along in the question. What is one thing that makes this store better than Walmart? Now, this store, Sam's Club, is a sister store of Walmart. And so your kids have to think as a class and groups, but because we're just beginning, we would just have somebody read it uh, to the whole class or you could read it to the class. Here we go. Capital, one of the advantages of going to capital Sam apostrophe S instead of capital Walmart is the discount they give you for purchasing items in bulk instead of buying things individually, period. Now, we would need to make the sound after we say one or before it. We would go for the apostrophes to slow the sentence down or the commas if we happen to find any. And you might also point out, let's give extra credit for high vocabulary because if you are a writing teacher, you know that it says on the scoring guide, the fourth bullet and the scoring guide for fourth grade and the third bullet for seventh, ninth, and tenth, it says, choose your words carefully. So if your kids will actually do that, then we want to reward them for choosing their words carefully. I think advantages would get extra credit, probably purchasing. That's a great word. Bulk. Not very many kids would use that word. And 
probably even individually. And so an activity that you might do a little bonus lesson is every time they get caught using higher vocabulary, you might, and perhaps we would use a different color than green since we're using green to start the sentence. You might tell the kids, I'm gonna give you one ticket in my word bank for saying high vocabulary, and I'll give you two tickets if you actually write it down in a sentence and use it correctly in context. And then once a week, once a month, or once a year, you can have a little store and reward those kids who get caught using higher vocabulary when they talk or when they write. So that's number one. Instead of rushing on to the next one, you might have the kids say, okay, let's talk about this as a class. What is another thing that makes Sam's Club better than Walmart. And I think because we're in this pandemic, still going through this, if you might be watching this at a time much later on in life, but in the spring and summer of 2020, there was a virus called coronavirus, COVID-19, and it caused people to have to put space between them. And we had to stop doing a lot of things that we love. So, one of the cool things that maybe Sam's has an advantage of over Walmart is that you have to be a member to join that club. So there's gonna be less people, not less people are gonna to wanna to pay a membership just to go buy something at a store. So you might say something like this out loud as a class because it's easier to talk than write. You'd probably say it like this. Capital, the coolest thing about capital Sam, apostrophe S, capital club, is that there are a lot less people there since you have to purchase a membership to buy things in the store, period. And so that's how I would do that. And then because we did that one um, as a class, you might tell your kids, all right, Let's do this one uh, with Gillies as a class, the one that's here. And then I want you to come up with your own response as a group. And you could say, okay, we're on the next one for KD Southern Cuisine. KD, apostrophe S, capital Southern, capital Cuisine. Let's read the one that we have with a partner and, uh, then we can uh, try to write one on our own. And we have one uh, for Roscoe's House of Chicken and, and Waffles. Roscoe apostrophe S, I can't, can't forget to say that, apostrophe S. So have them maybe try one or two on their own and then share that with the class. So let's go ahead and take a look at the first one that's blank. And before you release the kids, you just wanna make sure that they're all on the same page, all doing the same thing in the right way. So you would ask the kids to share something with you. Who has an idea for this question that refers to capital low, apostrophe S, capital market. Now, on this one I was thinking, the kids might get confused because Lowe's is not just a store like, like that sells groceries like this market, but Lowe's is also a place that sells hardware and appliances and a lot of plumbing and electrical things. So make sure you differentiate between that. This store sells mainly groceries. And so a uh, little tidbit here, I'm on a low carb diet, the Atkins diet, if you wanna call it that, and I can't eat a lot of carbs right now. So no chocolate, no chips, no candy, sodas, bread, a lot of things I've had to stop eating. But the cool thing is I've lost about 25 pounds so far. Thank you, Lord, for helping me through that. So I'm gonna talk about one thing that I can't eat, but that you could buy there if you wanted to. I'm going to say if I wasn't on my low carb 
diet. So this is done digitally. I'm on Zoom annotating. I would purchase a, uh, my weakness is three musketeers and recess. So we'll go with um, three musketeers bar. And if you look at the sentence, I haven't mentioned the restaurant and we said at the store, the restaurant or the business. So that has to be somewhere in the sentence at low apostrophe S market. Now, since I mentioned the restaurant last, the store last, the business last this time, the next time I want to put it somewhere else in the sentence. So the next thing is, we have to underline all the capitals, but I want to focus more on the colors that we talked about. So our first color that we talked about was green. The green is to go. Don't want to change. Don't want to change the sentence. Let me undo that real quick. I want that sentence to be black. Well, I can't get it to go black, but I'm going to make sure I do my next part. I'm going to try my best to have a green circle. So to start the sentence, if, that means I don't want to start the next sentence with if. Do I have any contractions, apostrophes, or comma? Yes, I do. So I'm going to go into my yellow is on my annotation section, apostrophe, comma, apostrophe S on lows. And what color is our wool? Red. So we'll go ahead and change it to red for that last word. And there you have it. I'm going to make the sound effects. I'm going to do all the visual, the verbal, the auditory, so we can make this connection. Capital, <clears throat> if capital I wasn't, was not, contraction on my low carb diet, comma, slight pause, capital I would purchase a capital three, capital musketeers bar, at capital O, up apostrophe, ch -ch -ch -ch, capital, S, capital market, period. So that's in visual form. So what if I want to use my document camera? Well, all I have to do is just switch over to that. The cool thing about Zoom it allows you to share either a portion of your screen or a document camera. And as you can see, I have the same sentence right there. Uh, this is from page seven. Capital, if I wasn't on my low carb diet, yellow, capital, I would purchase a Capital three, capital musketeers bar at capital low, apostrophe S, ch -ch -ch -ch, capital market, period. And that's red in case you can't see that clearly. And another one, I skipped a few pages just to close out the lesson for you so you can kind of see a good intro. There's 31 pages of these, um, but I'm just showing you a couple to kind of get the idea. All right, this restaurant is Applebee, apostrophe S, and the question says, does this restaurant sell apples? Well, my response started with the word although, capital, although, <clears throat> the word apple is in the name, capital Applebee, apostrophe S, comma, ch -ch -ch -ch. the restaurant does not actually have apples on its menu, period. Now, I put that word it's in there on purpose because a lot of kids struggle with it's as in ownership, like they own that menu, 
or it is. So since I did not say it, it is, then we wouldn't have an apostrophe there. And so that's gonna help your kids by verbalizing the contraction, the apostrophe S on its or when they're not supposed to do that. So that's the idea of traffic light sentences using names of businesses. I hope that I get to hear news through email or messenger about some of you guys who try it with your kids this school year. Good luck, God bless. Uh, keep me posted and be sure to email me about any questions you have, any videos that you might want me to post, some subject areas. Um, they'll always be reasonably priced. Uh, there's my contact information for those of you that want trainings or uh, materials as a hard copy. You can go to my website or you can go to Teachers Pay Teachers if you want a digital copy of pretty much everything. Uh, God bless you guys. God bless you guys and have a great day.